people were already here. Does it make sense to go all the way to this other continent to bring people on a boat when we know that half of your stock is going to die? <laughs> you wouldn't do that. So Let me close my blinds because it's about to get deep. I've been really thinking about this. It do not make sense to go all the way to another place to look for slaves when it's already people here. So if they enslave the people here and the slaves were melanated black, the Native Americans are the black people. Okay, so when Chris first came to the Caribbean and he stole some natives, which is in South America, in his journal, he mentioned that Native Americans were black-skinned people. A voyager even said the Indians are very dark-complected, approaching black people. They have large lips, broad, flat, black-like nose, bearing strong resemblance to black people. It also said they had long, straight hair, so there's your evidence. Published by Vogue. So now I'm just thinking, who are these people? There's a lot of talk that they are descended from Mongolian people. I'm not gonna lie, they do look similar. Now, there was also this situation called the $5 Indian. When people paid $5 to falsify documents declaring them Native Americans to reap the benefits. And then what they did with us, dark-skinned indigenous people who were called Indians or Indos, because they were dark, the United States legally unlawfully classified each as Negro. So they changed our ethnicity and said all of us was just Africans. 